What do you make of this firing of their O-line coach? Stephen A. Smith, can you say scapegoat? Because I can. Can you say you would. can you say blame deflection by a head coach with an unfair firing? Because I just did. <sighs> to me, this smacked of this this shocking day after move by Bill Belichick smacked of a head coach who I believe wanted to make sure he places the blame squarely on what was most glaring, obviously from Sunday's loss in Denver, the inability of the offensive line to protect Tom Brady. But I'm going to repeat what I said yesterday and what I've said several times over the past several weeks on this show. Yesterday's game was lost the last two regular season Sundays by Bill Belichick. I don't want to beat the dead horse here, but obviously all they had to do is win one of those two games to secure home field advantage, and they would have beaten these Denver Broncos in Foxborough two days ago. But of course, at the Jets, Brady leaves, leads a masterful drive, tie the game, send it to overtime. <sighs> New England wins the coin flip, and Belichick takes the football out of Tom Brady's hands. Next week at Miami, Belichick played it like it was a preseason game, took again the ball out of Tom Brady's hands in the first half in which he attempted only four passes and they lost 20 to 10 and effectively lost the AFC title. So here we are, an offensive line coach who, by the way, I thought did a really good job. And by the way, his first year was last year, season ago, when they won the Super Bowl, so I guess he did okay that year, and then this year, I thought he did an extraordinary job with an offensive line that needed 35 different combinations because of injuries. That's 11 more than any other team in the NFL needed. 39 times they had to juggle their balls in the offensive line. And they lost their rookie, who's pretty good, their fourth round pick, Trey Jackson, who started nine games. They lost him for the AFC Championship game. So I'm saying you did a pretty good job until all hell broke loose in Denver where no lineman could hear the snap count and all of a sudden you had Von Miller and DeMarcus Ware able to just watch the ball snapped on rhythm every time at the same rhythm where they could just on your mark get set go and race to Tom Brady. It's not a very good offensive line but I can't see how you could actually blame that on the offensive line coach unless you needed a day after scapegoat just to shift blame onto the most glaring weakness in this one game, the offensive line. Oh, so please. I thought it was unfair. Maybe it, unless there's something I don't know internally, there's some internal issue that I'm not aware of. But from a distance, my two cents is scapegoat blame deflection. You know, you, you, you know what? There are times when I look at you, you should just be flat out ashamed of yourself. You really, I'm really should. I'm never ashamed of myself. Is that your damn yeah. problem? You're never yeah. ashamed of yourself. Because this is one of those times. Let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. So Bill Belichick, 16 years in New England. He's got a record of 187 and 69. I don't care. He's one, uh, excuse me, I'll let you speak. Mm -hmm. Zip it. I'm talking. 73% no. of his games, mm -hmm. right? 73% of his games that he has won. He's won four Super Bowl championships. We get it. He's won 13 division championships. Mm -hmm. In other words, Skip, the point that I'm trying to make is that he has no concerns about his job security. He doesn't need a scapegoat. No. OK, so the fact is he went up in the press conference yesterday. He said ultimately the buck stops with him. It's his fault. He understands that because ultimately he's the boss. He's responsible. So you're trying to tell me you got wide receivers coaches. You got running backs coaches. You got a quarterback coach. You got an offense. You got a, you got an offensive coordinator. And oh, by the way, so let me use the offensive line coach as a scapegoat. Go. Mm -hmm. Did it ever occur to you that this man, who is universally recognized as the greatest coach of the modern day era, widely considered one of the Wrong. best ever? I gotta this stop man, you on that. He is not what? widely recognized. Bill Walsh is of the modern era. Come on, give me a of break. Of the modern era, Heck I'm not yes. talking about the 80s. I'm talking well, about the, the 2000s. Era? 
What, 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 what you, who you talking to? I was in junior high school and high school well, in that age. Okay? And, and, and not to me. The when modern I say era. What when is that? I the say 2000s? Modern, listen, I know okay. that you would like the modern era to go back to the 1970s. I'm a little bit more modern. I'm in the 2000s. I'm in the new millennia. That's the modern day era okay. to me, okay? So that's what I'm talking about. Right. Don't interrupt me to make that mm -hmm. point. You, that's a strategy a that Skip Bayless exercises because yeah. mm -hmm. you want to interrupt when I'm making yeah. my point. My point is this. So all of this stuff is going on. And this coach, Hall of Famer, without question, one of the greatest coaches we've ever seen, yep. there for 16 years, making $7 million a year. Bob Kraft loves him, has no concerns whatsoever about job security, just finished coaching in his fifth consecutive AFC championship game. Oh, I'm going to dime out the offensive line coach mm -hmm. and make him the scapegoat. Yep. That's just that's just asinine. Mm. The fact is, is that Bill Belichick, more so than you, me, or anybody else, is paid and is more than qualified to dissect, decipher, and evaluate the performance of his subordinates. Mm -hmm. If he wanted a scapegoat, why not Josh McDaniels? Why not the running backs coach? They had no running game. Why not the wide receivers coach? Randall LaFell wasn't even targeted all afternoon mm -hmm. long. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you could point to. But because he picked the offensive line yeah, coach, exactly. you got an issue with him. And so you are so disrespectful towards him mm -hmm. because so all you honest. care about mm -hmm. is buffering up Tom Brady, your mm -hmm. golden boy, who passes mm -hmm. gas and you call it perfume. Mm -hmm. Everything he does is I've right, but this is what you do. But mm -hmm. Bill Belichick is wrong. Oh, get out of here. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to hear. Bill Belichick is one of the greatest ever. He no has doubt. a right to evaluate his subordinates. If you didn't do the guy's only been there for two years. It ain't like he's been there for 13 years and then Bill mm -hmm. Belichick decides to get rid of him. He's been there for two years. So Bill Belichick evidently didn't like the job he did that great last year and doesn't like the job he did uh, this year, and he's gone. Yeah. He deserves he earns the right. Oh. He has earned the right to sit there and evaluate his subordinates. Right. Oh, I mean, give me a break. It's nonsense what you're saying. It's just nope. nonsense. It's nonsense. It's insightful what I'm saying more because this is There's legacy. Legacy protection. Nothing. Legacy. Nothing. Yes. Legacy protection. And even you legacy agreed protection. with me. You were baffled by what Belichick was doing in those last two games. He blew a home game in the AFC Championship in the last so two what? games. And, so what? And can you tell me, can you show me? Did he get to the AFC Championship yeah. game? Can you, did, yeah, because he had a home game against AFC Kansas City. Game? Yep, he did. You know, here's the bottom line. You sit up there and you're ticked off because your Super Bowl pick ended up losing. You can't just accept gracefully. I was wrong I about the Patriots, coming. too. You can't accept it gracefully. Yeah, you saw it coming, hedging your bets and all of that stuff. But you're sitting there and you're upset because your boy Tom Brady I'm ain't in the Super Bowl. Truth. And your Super Bowl and pick was wrong. So, it, my goodness, on it. Bill Belichick okay, wait a messed up wait a my second. Super Bowl Here's pick. Here's the question. Go Do ahead. you think this coach deserved to be fired the day after they lost this yes. game? Yes. How? Yes. How? Because Bill Belichick said so. Oh, He's earned it. Okay. He said so, so, and that's good enough for me. So he you, said so. You have one first-round pick on your whole roster that's your first-round pick. Nate right. Solder, he's lost right. in week four at Dallas. That's all you got. He's the left tackle for Tom Brady, the ultimate protector, the blindside protector. He's gone, and now you're going to fire this guy for working with 39 different Who, combinations? And, 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 you're kidding. The, the, I thought they the were pretty good. The argument is different. The argument is different. My point is, who the hell are you? to question Bill Belichick about who he got, decides to fire. He would know I what do the it guy all the time. does. It's what he we would do. know. He would know. Right? Listen, if he fired everybody, you might have a good point because that doesn't make any sense. But he did it. He highlighted this individual. Defensive coordinator, still there. Linebackers coach, they, still there. Secondary coach, they still matter. there. Running backs coach, they still matter. there. We know all of them. We know who they are. We can't Get even pronounce this guy's name. We Andrew had to look Guliama. up how to pronounce it. He's Bill Molly Belichick. Molly can say it. I can't. Oh, I haven't touched him yet because I don't know his name. Nonsense. He was nonsense. the easiest target by far. What and they, he did it the what day they, after the game. Have, it's his fault. No uh, it's have no the ultimate scapegoat. I know I'm talking no a little over your head here, job. but trust oh, me, most of the people out there get what I'm talking about and they're saying, yeah, you got a point. That's all it is. This is all about Brady. Your boy is home watching the Super Bowl with me and you, and you're upset about it because your Super Bowl pick was wrong.
wrong. You can't accept gracefully that you were wrong like the rest of America. You got to sit up there and point the finger at Bill Belichick, one of the greatest coaches ever, I, I, who decided to get rid of his offensive line coach. Because it's right. And you're going to make at news least, about that? You know what? Oh, please. At you least know, one of us has the guts to do it, right? But, but, one God, of us? God, yes. No, no, no. Yes. I, have, I have the intellect yeah. to appreciate greatness. One of us doesn't Bill care Belichick about burn bridges. One of us great. doesn't need Bill them. Bill Belichick knows more football than anybody than anybody out here. He believes his offensive line coach came up short, and that is that. Who the hell are you to come to the well, protection? Well, who the hell are you to question me? Coach? I don't are appreciate gonna, that. Are you going to hire him? <laughs> Are you going to hire him? Are you Who are you, guy? Mr. NBA? Are, are you, are you gonna uh, how long him? have you covered the NFL? Well, listen, I've been doing it for the last I'm sitting up here with you every day. I'm, that, that's right. Yeah. And by the okay. way, through your invitation, that, that's who so the hell I am. Qualified enough. You know what? That's right. I covered okay. Don Shula's Miami Dolphins starting in 1974. That's who the hell I am. How about that's that? Right. That's right. That's right. That's not bad. But mm. the bottom line is, you're the, you're still doesn't stop you from getting sensitive when your pick is wrong, is it? I, I already got you, sensitive. The, I got sensitive the day coach? after the Jets and the offensive, day after the Dolphins. Uh, I said, you just blew line? on field. Offensive How could you? Offensive line coach? That's what you're making this about, an offensive line coach? Who is yeah, he? Yeah, I'm making it. That's exactly what I'm who making it about because who the hell is the offensive Bill, line coach? Bill Belichick made a call about his subordinate. He knows. How are you going to question Bill Belichick over this guy? For this guy? Him? Yeah. An offensive line coach? Really? That's why Bill Belichick is making the A block for this show? Bill Belichick because of an offensive line coach? He fired Bill him the Belichick? day after the loss. It's completely the uncalled for. He's the best. Oh, He's the yeah. best. The offensive line wasn't getting yeah. it done. They didn't get 17 more sacks than last year. Period. Yeah, I've told you. Discussion. I've told you from the start. You have overrated Bill Belichick. Please. You just you have. underrate you, him. Alan. You disrespect him. You disrespect him. I'm just going to tell man. the truth. Gentlemen, okay. Spy we gotta game. go to break. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spirited debate. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I follow that up, but coming out of the gates firing, so you probably mm -hmm. want to stay with us. All right. Skip calls it the year of Cam. It certainly has been a breakout season for Cam Newton. What's changed? The fellas will tell you when first take continues. We are feisty today.